All right, I'm going to show you guys how to set up your remote control and select your vehicle using Real Flight Evolution. So we can, it says at the top menu, press Escape or the Cancel button to control. So you can click the X out here. We can hit Escape. We can go to Settings, Controller, Configure Controller. It should start off with the FSI6S emulator if your remote control is plugged in. And we're going to click Calibrate. Uh, it says center all controls, including the throttle stick. So make sure you have all of them centered. Switches all in the up position. Click next. Then we're going to move all of our sticks up, down, left, and right. And then we're going to flip all of our switches all the way up, all the way down. And then click finish. Then we're going to edit our profile. So for channel one for the aileron, click where it says unassigned, and then you're going to move the right stick left and right for aileron. And then for elevator, we're going to click where it says unassigned, and you're going to move the right stick forwards backwards for elevator. Then click unassigned for throttle and move the left stick up and down. And then we'll click unassigned for rudder and move the left stick left and right. And then for us, all we need is this channel eight mode switch. So we're going to click Assign there, and then I'm going to use Switch B, which is the three-position switch on the left-hand side. We're going to toggle that. And then we're going to click Save As. And in this case, I'm going to type in FSI6S for the remote control we're using, and click OK. And then we're going to click Closed, and then click OK. So we can go back to free play, aircraft, and select our aircraft. And for the most part, any of these will work. You can also filter the items. So you can filter by just multi-rotor. And then you'll have uh, a couple different options to choose from. And some of these have different modes and Others don't have the same mode, so like this first one, you can select this one, click select, and click fly, and then you can see down in the corner here, it says stabilize, altitude hold, and loiter mode. So leaving it in stabilize mode, you can increase the throttle, bring it up off the ground, and then check, see now my sticks are backwards for left and right, and they're fine for forwards backwards. So we'll land it, and then we'll hit escape, we're going to go back up to settings, controller, configure controller. We're going to go to edit. And then my left and right options for my aileron was backwards. So I'll reverse that. And then my rudder option was backwards. So we'll reverse that. And then click save. Close. OK. And then we can bring it back up in the air. And left is now left and right is right. Forwards and backwards. And then yaw left, yaw right. And then you can flip your switch to altitude hold, and it'll hold altitude for you. Or then loiter mode, we'll do the GPS lock, whereas altitude hold won't do the GPS lock. And then stabilize mode is you are in control of all of the up and down. Uh, that should be everything for setting up your controller.